Cruz. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com, and I don't know, somewhere I'm going to figure out where the sound is on here. Sorry. Got it? <laughs> Got it? Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the Stamp and Scoop Show. Um, I'm sorry, it is not the Stamp and Scoop Show. This is my online class. I am just losing it all over the place. It is Friday. Had a little bit of technical difficulty getting on board here, and I'm hoping that this... Um, is going to fix itself. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get locked up here. Um, I don't know. Can you guys see me okay? Because I can't see me on my thing. So hopefully I'm there. Hopefully things are, are working here. Oh, awesome. Okay. Back up. Back up. Yay. <laughs> All kinds of stuff happening today. So gremlins are in the system. If things go wonky, uh, we're just going to roll with it. You know how it goes. So, um, welcome aboard. Excited to have our online class. I'm going to be working with chocolate today, which is always one of my favorites. Who doesn't love chocolate, right? Um, thank you for all of the, thank you for all of the love for Flash. He actually did come down. I didn't, um, I, I didn't bring him treats today because the, we, we did that on the Stampin' Scoop on Tuesday so he could, you know, show his appreciation. You guys have been awesome throughout everything that happened with him last week. And, um, <laughs> he stole the show. He stole the show. So today... I didn't bring him treats, but yeah, he, he just knows. He's like, he's hovering around, so I'm sure he'll make some type of an appearance. He had his second um, chemo treatment. Flash is my beagle, in case you're new. He had a second chemo treatment yesterday, and the doctors were amazed at how awesome he's doing. So fingers crossed, things are going really well, and we're appreciating all the love and all the extra time that we have with him. Um, and in other fun news, um, I, I've shared some about this before on top of people crafting. Another hobby of mine is aerial photography. I am a complete amateur and I'm going to throw that out there right now for anybody who's a real good photographer. Um, this was one of my attempts at a sunset um, on Wednesday night here on the lake that I live on. Um, my son, my 17 year old son Noah, who used to actually do the live broadcast with me um, a couple of years ago when we first started and helped me get started here, he actually just launched in an aerial photography business and he's taught me everything I know about <laughs> so much about, about flying. Um, and it, so this has been a really fun journey for me. I'm having a lot of fun with it, but he is actually taking it professionally and I'm really proud of him. This shot I took, um, it's, I, I love it. I love it. I was experimenting and did a panorama shot. So um, this is one of my first times doing it this way. And it, I just thought it came out awesome. I thought I would share that with you guys. While you guys are popping on board, I see there's a lot of you on there. Welcome aboard. Welcome, everybody. Um, <laughs> Jessica says she doesn't like chocolate. How can you not like chocolate? Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm sure that you can substitute something else in this goodie bag. Um, but there's some funds and you know, it's also for other people, not just for you. So maybe somebody you love, loves chocolate and might enjoy this. Um, a couple of things happening in Stampin' Up! News. Celebration, going strong, free products. Gotta love it. You get free products with every $50 order. You get a free limited edition um, stamp set or there's also paper that you can choose from or a couple of kits. Um, it's all on my blog and the info is on the link in this video's description. You can also get two free stamp sets when you join bonus stampin rewards and here is um a, a really uh cool and exciting thing for those of you who have been following me i have free shipping it ends today this has been a flash sale i ran this week in honor of flash and in honor of i am really really close to hitting two million dollars um in, in career personal sales with stampin up and this is just a huge milestone it's never been hit before i'm very excited so i'm offering this kind of as a little um celebration ahead of time to thank you and and support my you guys as my customers and um, I'm just really excited about this this journey it's been an amazing um, amazing 14 years I've had with Stampin up and to, to to hit this and it's coming up really soon we're getting really close um, I'm just very excited about it and thank you I do have some more information on this on my blog these orders do need to be emailed they will not work in my online store it's a personal sale I'm running it's a personal little thank you I'm running um, and I do need to enter it manually in order for you to get the free shipping. So you do need to email it to me, but you can use the online store and just take a screenshot. Just don't process it. Um, you know, take a screenshot email to me. That's been the easiest way to do it because then you get celebration items. You're also going to get frequent buyer points from me and you're going to get my free tutorial. So bonus, 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 bonus all over the place. I mean, this is like quadruple dipping. Just forget the double dipping. We're just quadruple dipping. But today's the deadline. Got to be in today. Okay. So. 
that's the exciting news that's been happening here. You guys are all on. Thank you for sharing. Oh, my gosh. You guys are awesome. Not only is there a bunch of you on there, you guys are like right on it. So um, for sharing, let me tell you a little bit about the goodies that we have today. Um, and as with all of my live broadcasts, I like to give back. I like to give back with everything that I do. I, I do my best to, to support you guys and, and for supporting me. It's kind of like a, we're, we're here together, playing together, working together, stamping together. I love it. I have free stuff. So I'm giving this away. Um, I will be giving these are our live prizes here that I'll be giving away at the end of this broadcast. All you need to do to enter is leave a comment. This is my after live. In case you missed the live, in case you didn't win a prize in the live, if you're watching after on YouTube, we're currently live on Facebook. <coughs> I'm, I'm currently not able to do Facebook and YouTube live at the same time, but maybe someday that will come in the future. So if you are not on Facebook but are watching this later on, on YouTube or on my blog or anywhere else in the world, um, you can still enter to win my um, after live giveaway. So you have, even though you didn't win one of these, you can still win one of these, which is this is the great prize here. I'm going to draw it on February 9th. It is a bundle. This is the Sure Do Love You bundle. Linda and I featured this on the Scoop Show on Tuesday. Um, and I do want to tell you about the Live Prize Patrol. So I have two celebration products here. Um, lots of lavender and the Party Pandas that you can win just by leaving a comment here. And <laughs> Karen was just asking about this this morning. This is a pop-up scrap-in. So... Um, just a note, you can't purchase these. You can only get these as a demonstrator. I got them with, um, as a demonstrator, we have our own frequent buyer point program through Stampin' Up. It's called Flex Points. So we earn points with orders that when people buy from us or when we place orders. So with my Flex Points, I was able to get these and I'm giving them to you. So leave a comment. You could win one of these pop-up scrap-ins. Yes, that's right. I'm giving my, my points that I earned back to you because I love you guys. I do love you guys. I have so much fun doing these online broadcasts. Um, one more bonus thing with these uh, prizes with the After Live. If you share this broadcast on Facebook, you can share the YouTube video. Just If you share it on Facebook and type the word shared into the comments so I know that you shared it, I will enter you a second time into the um, the bonus, the After Live run. Okay, so these three are going to be lives. I will draw them right here live on this broadcast. You know, something that somebody asks me, pretty much at the end of every episode in the comments later how do i know if i won especially if you're not on facebook so um all the winners are posted on my blog i have an actual winners page a contest and winners page that announces all the current contests and all the winners for the past few months so um you can check my blog you can i, I post it in my newsletter every week all of the winners of the week what they've won and you have two weeks to claim your prize after that the prize goes back into the drawing and i send i give it away again so you have two weeks to to check back on my blog or check my newsletter that goes out every week so you have you know a little bit of time there to find out if you want i also usually post them in, on facebook in the in the comments after there's a winner so just a note there prize claim form is also um in the link in this video's description so you can catch the winners there too all right you guys ready to do some stamping because i am ready to stamp all right, so I'm going to pop down on the table over here, and hopefully everybody's working and behaving. My my equipment is behaving today because, you know what, my iPad isn't, so if I can't see the comment, Oh, the comments are working. I just can't see the video. Okay, here's what we're making. We are making this awesome gift set. I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. I have the details on the resource page, which is already up on my blog. Um, I already have that. I posted that this morning and you can get the free PDF for these projects there as well. I create these with every um, online class that I do. It has the measurements. It has a complete supply list. And here's the best part. If you're not making this along with us, if you're making it later and you want to go back and watch this video later, I have a link back to the resource page that has this video that we're making right now on it. Um, if you have a smartphone, you can also zap this code and it will bring you back to that page. You can see the video, you can download this PDF, you can get the full supplies and all the details on this. So that's your little bonus there with the, the free PDF that I make for you guys. I do that with every um, every project. Cheryl, um, Cheryl's asking about Flash. He's doing great. He was actually wandering around down here because we brought treats um, on the Stamp and Scoop show on Tuesday so that, you know, he could make a little appearance. I think he was hoping he was going to get treats again right now. So he was wandering around, but he had his second chemo and they said he's doing amazing. So I'm very, very grateful. I'm very happy, happy that we have extra time with him because I love my little guy. Okay. So a little bit about, um, creating this. 
I'm actually using something a little different. We're going a little outside the box for Valentine's Day, and I'm using the Wood Crate and Wood Words bundle. Um, this is a stamp set bundle, Wood Words, along with, um, if this is a Wood Crate die, which is awesome. I've, I've, I've got some samples of the actual die put together, the box. Um, from the die set, we're actually using the heart to create these these hearts right here. Um, and we are using, uh, this is also part of that same suite. This is the Wood Textures designer paper. I love this paper. I go through this probably once a month. I go through a package of this designer paper. I, I hope they keep it forever because I love it. It's all these different wood textures. And you could use many different ones to create these projects and get a little bit of a different look with each one. And I'm also using from that same suite, that same suite is this copper um, trim. So a lot of uh, the wood texture suite there that I just absolutely love. We're going to be doing a little bit of heat embossing today, which is fun. One of my favorite techniques, always one of my favorite techniques. So the package here, <coughs> these are um, Hershey Nugget chocolates. These are the nuggets. I'm going to try not to eat them while I'm making the project. That's going to be rough for me because <laughs> I love chocolate. Yes, I do. And it shows, baby, but I'm all right with that. So we are using the Stampin' Up! 2x8 cello bags. Um, we have different varieties and sizes of cello bags. This is a really fun one, and it fits these Hershey nuggets perfectly. So it's a quick, easy way of putting together a little goodie thank you for somebody by throwing them in um, one of these bags. And you'll also see how quick and easy it is to make, to make this project, so you could make a whole bunch of these. All right, so I'm going to start with our stamping. I'm going to stamp both projects together. So I've got two banners here. Again, the um, measurements are on that free PDF on my blog. And we're going to stamp some hearts. And then we'll do our heat embossing stamping right after that. So I'm just going to move the rest of this to the side. And we'll start with some early espresso ink. And I hope I've got the words around here somewhere. Let's see what words we want to get. Um, oh, hmm. there we go. <laughs> I had lost a stamp the other day. I was like, oh no, I can't find the stamp to that. And there it is. It's in my, my bucket with this project. I'm using the I Just Love You stamp from that same stamp set. And I'm going to stamp it on these two white strips, one for the card and one for the um, chocolate gift set. And then we're going to take some real red and somewhere in here we have, man, I'm a mess today. Thanks for bearing with me. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me when I'm just a hot mess. This is real red um, ink pad. I'm going to stamp two hearts on that. And this again from that same stamp set. So the, the, the framelits are going to match. We're going to use the framelits in a minute to cut out those hearts. You can also fussy cut them. You can cut them out by hand if you wanted to, too. You can do that either way. Okay, so the card base, I did a tiny little bit of stamping on that as well here on the edges with some Whisper White Craft ink. Now, with the Whisper White, it did used to come all together in the ink pad, but what happens is it's a craft ink, which is a thicker ink. It's a pigment ink, and it's a little bit different than our classic ink, and it dries up fairly quickly. So now what they do is they actually sell you the ink pad with... Um, a re-inker and you just put the re-inker on it to get started. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use that free PDF for something other than its intended purpose and that is um, to protect my workspace while I stamp our little background stamp. So I've got this is the, um, the stars here and if you're not familiar with our stamps, Stampin' Up! has three different types of stamps. There's two types of rubber and one clear type of stamp. Stamp sets you generally come in rubber or photopolymer, which is clear. This is what's called a clear mount or cling mount, and um, it's often called, which is, it comes in wood mount and cling mount, this particular stamp set, but I like the, um, this is the stamp set. So if it comes in rubber, it comes in clear mount or wood mount. And then the photopolymer is the actual clear stamp, which is actually a form of plastic, and these are actually rubber. So there's two different styles, and then of the rubber, there's two different um, mounts that you can get. The reason why I love these is because of the storage. I don't have a lot of storage, and they come in these tiny, slim little cases. So that makes me happy. I like being able to store things. I am inking up and stamping this um, on the corners of this card. 
just a little just a just a little tiny little accent it's going to be in the background you're not really going to see it too too much but i love those extra little pieces of love that we do actually you know what let's just go ahead and leave that out here because now we're going to do some um, heat embossing and what i'm going to do is take some versamark ink pad now this is a watermarking ink pad it stamps clear unless you have a very seasoned versatile marketing pad, and then you might see a tiny little bit of the image, which sometimes I find very helpful. This is actually a fairly new versatile marketing pad. It's not going to look like this for long. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and stamp this floral image from the same stamp set twice on here using the versatile marketing. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see me because, um, there we go. Okay. <laughs> now I can see me again. My my iPad was acting up a little bit, and they used that to read the comments, so I was having a hard time seeing. Now, I missed a step here, and I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. It's similar on both sides. The reason why is because I did not use the embossing buddy to keep the static down from um, when we pour the embossing powder over. Actually, you know what? Let's pour the powder on first, and then we'll decide if we need to flip it over, because... I think on this dark this dark designer paper we're gonna we're gonna have some some of this powder sticking where we don't want it. And if I rub that embossing buddy on first, I call it the <laughs> if you you regret it if you don't use it, it's the um if you forget you regret step. Uh actually all in all that's not too bad. I'm gonna hold this up really close so you can see. Um a lot of times you'll find powder, little static will attract powder all over. Um, the top here and that's what the embossing buddy reduces but we actually made out pretty good so I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep rolling with this one I don't see a ton of um, a ton of static hanging on there which is surprising because it's so dry in here today it's so cold outside <laughs> okay so I'm just pouring the excess right back in the jar from that little scrap paper that I used and we're gonna next take our heat tool this is um, the Stampin' Up! Heat Tool. It'll take a minute for that to warm up. I probably should have done that ahead of time. But that's okay. I'll just sit here and talk over it while we're, <laughs> while we're doing it. <laughs> All right. Faith is asking if it matters if the image overlaps. I don't know if you noticed, but my image overlapped. I don't think it matters because pretty much most of that's going to be covered by the heart and the words anyway. Okay, so now can you see where the heat embossing is, is starting to take? Isn't that awesome? It's melting the powder. It is just so cool to watch. And it never gets old. 14 years I've been doing this. This is one of my favorite techniques. It never gets old. So fun. That looks pretty good. Let's hold it up there so you can see. Can you see that? So it melted the powder and it just left this embossed, raised design, floral design on our card that just is a pow. It really is striking. All right. So next I have a little Big Shot work where I was going to cut out these hearts um, with the Big Shot, but um, actually, yeah, I do have it here. Give me one second. <laughs> Oh, just one of those days. You ever have one of those days where everything's a little wonky? It's one of those days. The, um, the sale has been amazing, and I have been entering orders all morning. And so I, I looked up and I went, oh, my gosh, <laughs> i got to get ready for the class. And I had it finished. So if you've sent me an order and it's not quite in yet, you haven't heard back from me yet, you, you should hear back from me right after the class. I apologize. I'm, I'm, I'm entering as fast as I can, and I appreciate all of your support. Thank you. It's a very exciting time. Okay, so I'm just going to line that up here. <laughs> Robbie says she's constantly having one of those days. <laughs> okay. Julie, heating bossing never works for me. Something always goes wrong. So I, I, if you elaborate on that, maybe we can help you with it. Um, if you use that embossing buddy, it does keep the static down. It does help a lot. But really, all it, it could be a matter of just using the right paper and making sure that you use um, the Versamark ink pad. The Versamark ink pad, I think, is, is huge as far as regular embossing. Our embossing powders are amazing. They're, they're very detailed. They get right in there. 
And um, always make sure you flick off the back real good. I don't think I showed that step too good because that seemed to pour right off, didn't it? Okay, I've cut out two hearts. But other than that, yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. There isn't a lot to it. So if you want to elaborate, maybe we can help you with what's going wrong with your embossing. Because we don't want the fun stuff to not work right. That's no fun. All right. So I'm just going to slide that back down. And it is really just time for a little bit of assembly. I didn't throw my paper snips in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take some scissors and cut a banner. You could also use the triple banner punch for this piece, if you have it, to make your, your little banners a little bit more even than mine are with freehanding. Okay. Um, Robbie, I've never had powder go bad on me. I can't say for sure that it doesn't, but I've been at this 14 years, and some of my chars have been, uh, I, I mean, they last forever. Some of them have been that long, and I haven't had them go bad, but... That's not to say that maybe in a certain environment it could. Okay, so I'm going to take some snail adhesive to put this panel together. Snail is like a double-sided tape. This is my favorite adhesive. I think I'm, I am addicted to it. I might have a snailing problem. I don't know if it's really a problem, honestly. I just like it a lot. And then I'm going to take some Stampin' Dimensionals. Oh, that wasn't very straight. Let's see if we can peel that off and do it again. There's another beautiful thing about snail. Usually, if you're very quick, you can get it off without too much damage to reposition. Let's see if that <laughs> holds true today. Okay. Well, we got most of it off. All right, I'm just going to put a tiny little bit more on there, and let's see if we can line that up just a little bit better. Some people, you know, some people need everything to be perfectly straight. Some people are, you know, okay with just a little bit of not perfect. Sometimes I'm okay with the not perfect, but I know some of you, that would bother you. <laughs> if I didn't fix it, they'd be like, oh my gosh, no, you got to fix it. <laughs> okay, so stamp and dimensionals on that to put it onto the card base. Oh, here comes Flash. He's looking to see if I've got treats, and I do, but it's chocolate, so he can't have it. Oh, he's looking at me with his cute little sad face. I feel like I need to... I, I, come here, honey. Come here. You want to say hello? All right. Hold on. Hold on. Here he is. He's like, oh, you've got treats for me? <laughs> you say hi? Yes, he's feeling much better. Thank you all for your love. All right. No, I didn't bring treats for him, so he's not going to be happy with me for doing that. Yep. Here I am putting them on the air and not paying him for it. <laughs> oh, yeah, now he's just looking at me with his cute little puppy dog face. <sighs> Killing me. Oh, you know what? I don't want to attach this yet because I want to put that copper around it. <sighs> My dog was distracting me. He's such a little cutie. Okay, so I'm going to wrap. This is just copper trim. And those dimensionals do not have a backing on the back, so I want to be careful not to stick them to my background here. That wouldn't be cool either. So, I guess what I can do is just tie it after. You know, I'd like to tell you that I'm, I'm, this is a how-to show. Like, you know, the online classes are a how-to show, but so often this is a how-not-to show. <laughs> so many times I'm here to show you how not to do stuff, so you, you don't, you know... You don't have to go through the pain of learning the hard way like I do. All right, so I'm just cutting off a little bit of a little bit of that trim, and then if you wanted to, this is a fun thing about this copper this copper trim here is that you can actually fray it. Let's see if you guys can see that there for a little bit of fun. If you want a little bit of spunky ends there, you can fray it a little bit just by pulling it apart at the ends. Oh, that's so sweet, Carol. She said Rose is watching for Flash. Oh, glad he made a little appearance then. Okay, so I am going to attach this um, and the heart together before I put them on. Now, if I can only find where I put those two little hearts that I just cut. Because I was so efficient about them. Oh, there they are. All right, so a little bit of snail on the back of that heart. I'm actually going to stick it right to the banner. And then we're going to put some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of that. And st 
stick it down and then our card is complete and we're going to go and make some chocolates and we're going to try not to eat those chocolates okay so there's the card that's the card piece and we've got all the pieces we need for the chocolate so i found five fit really nicely in there oh my gosh i can't do it they smell so good i know you guys don't have smell vision but i'm sitting here smelling i can't help it i can't i gotta eat one i'm so sorry for this please forgive me <laughs> oh it's so good Mm, Flash is going to go nuts. I probably need to throw that wrapper away someplace else. He's still looking at me with his little sad puppy dog face. Okay. These are Hershey Nuggets chocolates. I can't talk. I'll get my, my mouth full. I'm so sorry. I'm not really sorry because that was worth it. It was so good. <laughs> okay, so... I should have... I guess I'm going to pour it. There it is. I've cut, pre cut five little strips here. These measurements are on the free PDF. It is no fun if you don't eat them, Cheryl. You are so right. Mm, so good. It doesn't love me either, Kay. She says she loves it, but it doesn't love her. It doesn't love me either. I can just see it porking out on my little, my little belly as I speak. Um, these measurements are all on here. And. <laughs> what an idiot. I'm so sorry. It looks like I didn't put on this original PDF. I will go back and edit this. I did not put the measurements here for these strips. And I believe they are... Oh, I don't even have anything to measure them here. I think they're 1 inch by 5 inch. Uh, let me see. I got a paper cutter down here that I can measure them on. I am so sorry about that. Man, it just keeps getting better. <laughs> this is one of those days. One inch by three inch. So these are five one inch by three inch little strips for the chocolate. So one inch. Oh, we can do this. We got this. One inch by three inch. And you need five of those. And you can use any of the wood texture designs that you'd like. And then we're going to take some, this is tear tape. And I'm going to put... A tiny little piece on the top and bottom of each and the back so depending on which side you want to use for the front of your this this particular design that I used out of the wood texture happens to kind of look the same on the front and the back but if your design is different and you want to you know you want to make sure that you put the the adhesive on the back the design that you you don't want to show I love this tear tape I think it is just so much easier than the um, fast fuse. Not that there's anything wrong with fast fuse because fast fuse is amazing, but to me, I love just being able to stick this on and tear it off. It's and it's so strong. It's much stronger than the snail adhesive, which is why I'm using it on these little guys. Okay, so next, I'm just going to peel off the protective backing and wrap that around our little chocolate. And then we have our little designer chocolate. So we're going to do that with all five of them. I'm just going to wrap those around. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. I'm trying not to eat another one. Probably should have eaten lunch before I did this. Now those are not the right, they're not the same size, are they? Because that one's a little bit thicker. Huh. It just doesn't look like I, that first one I cut the, the right size. That's okay. Just wrapping these right around the chocolates. I'm going to tell you right now, when you wrap up... <laughs> Kay, you read my mind, Kay. She goes, you better get them wrapped up before you munch them all up. And that's exactly what I was just going to say. If I wrap them, I can't eat them. I mean, I'm not going to unwrap it because it's so pretty, right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Sorry, Mary. I'm sending her out to buy some Hershey Nuggets. <laughs> She's like, oh, darn. What a shame. 
Oh, Hershey should definitely be giving us some uh, some kickbacks. They should give us some free chocolate for all the, the advertising we do for them. With all their yummy treats. Okay, so we've got five little chocolates here. All ready to rock and roll. And then we want... These are the Stampin' Up! 2x8 um, cello bags. They're perfect. They fit perfectly. They're great for all kinds of little treats, but today they're going to be a cute little Hershey Nugget Valentine's Day treat. So I'm just going to open that up and we're going to slide our chocolates in. And the fine tip glue pen hates me too, Janet. <laughs> we're not friends right now. <laughs> there are certain things that we're, not, that we're just not friends, and the fine tip glue pen is one of them. The liquid glue, for some reason, I have a hard time with this, the fine, both the fine tip and the liquid. I've gotten better with the liquid glue because I found that I was using the wrong end for that, but yeah. Whoops. I'm just trying to turn this. This guy went down the wrong. He's like, he's breached. <laughs> I got to turn him. Come on, come on, there we go. Now we're now we're talking. Now isn't it just right? Alright. These bags are awesome. They're just perfect little, you know, they're the right size for this. They're quick, easy little treat. And you know what? If you pay attention to when you're putting your chocolate in, you won't have to fumble quite so much. Fumble! I've been watching too much football lately. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we've got our little chocolates in here, and then I took two ribbons. So I'm back to that copper trim that we used originally. I'm going to take some of that, and I also took some of this um, real ribbon satin, um, real ribbon, real ribbon, real red satin ribbon um, together for a yummy Valentine's Day color. I, they, it just drew the, the red in from the heart. The copper goes so perfectly. Everything works out well. And taking a little hole punch to stick it in that tag, just to tie it onto the tag. So I'll just take those and thread them through. And then I just tied this around the top, quick and easy. That's the way I like it, quick and easy and awesome. And this one I just actually did in a knot. Yes, Robbie, our pats are going to the Super Bowl again. I am, a, I am, you know, obviously from Massachusetts, I am a New England fan and we love our pats. Sorry for anybody who, <laughs> don't hold it against me. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to trim off some excess there. We've got our ribbon on there and then a little dimensional on the back of, oops, hey, got a backing on the back of our dimensional. Try that again. Dimensional on the back of our heart. We'll stick that up and I just put that right there on that baggie and our set is complete. That's, I mean, quick, easy, fun, great Valentine's Day projects just awesome just awesome i love it i love quick and easy i love fun and i really love the outside of the box for this 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 wood texture suite the whole suite there working together it just it's so fun this would also make great cards for other i'm um, great set for other occasions it could be a birthday it could be anniversary it could be just a little goodie treat it doesn't have to be valentine's day but <coughs> since that was coming up i wanted to come up with some some fun projects for that so um that concludes our stamping, which means it's time for a little giveaway, which means I ain't got some drawing to do. If you have left a comment here, you are automatically entered to win something. And I'm going to pop on down to our giveaway screen and make sure we get onto the right thing. I'm going to give away lots of lavender, party pandas, and a pop-up scrap bin. So let's see what we got going on here. Come on, there it is. Ooh, you guys are chatty. You guys are awesome. Love you. Okay, so our first winner is for the Celebration Lots of Lavender stamp set. And that goes to, good luck everybody, Deborah, De Deborah Buonamo. Buonamo? Buonamo. Okay, hope I said that right. Apologies if I didn't. 
Um, and that's lots of lavender, Deborah. Party Pandas is going to drum roll. Carol Krasovac Hoffner, Hafner. Oh, you guys are making me work for it today. And the amazing pop-up scrapping that everybody's vying for goes to Jody Smith. Okay, so Deborah, Carol, and Jody, be sure to fill out the prize claim form linked in this video's description. If you are not Deborah, Carol, or Jody, you still have a chance to win. And that is the Sure Do Love You bundle. That is framelits and a stamp set. I'll be drawing the winner on February 9th. I'll announce it here in the comments. I will announce it on my winner's page on my blog. I will announce it in my stampwithtammy.com weekly newsletter. Also filled with inspiration. Be sure you're a part of that. All right. Hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Don't forget, free shipping ends today. Details of that are on my blog. Need to email that order to me. It can't be placed through the online store or you won't get the free shipping, but you can combine it with celebration. You can combine it with free tutorials, frequent fire points. Get it all, but get it in today. All right. Thanks. Have a great weekend. We will see you back here next week.